hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be starting the season off with holiday decor and getting the home ready for christmas we are unpacking we are mixing things and just using what we have for this season and i am so excited to share with you how i transform my home to the christmas decor and just kind of like mixing things around throughout the house this year is really exciting because i got to move some furniture around and add it into some different places and just kind of use my Christmas decor and just maximize it throughout the house so that was really fun um, so I had a really great time with this Christmas decor this year so I hope you all are ready and I hope you all get excited with me definitely use this to your motivation and just you know see how I decorate our home for the Christmas season and I hope you all are doing well as well and I hope you guys are getting into the Christmas spirit and if not I hope this motivates you as well um, so join with me throughout this video as I start to decorate decorate my home. So each Christmas season is different and throughout the years I have collected a lot of different items um, and hoping that they all kind of blend together um, but this year I'm really excited because I'm pulling out all of my silver my golds um, and all my whites and I typically like to do a silver and gold Christmas tree um, probably next year I will actually add some different colors because I do want to switch it out a little bit um, but this year we are doing the silver and gold and just kind of mixing those in um, I'm also going to be changing around the way that I do my wreaths um, so that's what I love about it is that you get to mix things around so even though you have the same decor or you know you have the same holiday items um, you don't have to break your pockets and break the bank to go back and buy different things just to use what you have and just mix it around the house so this is really fun um, this area right here is the fireplace um, where the TV is and so I just kind of wanted to play around with this area and see what looked right um, it took a couple of tries so we got take one take two and then the final one that we actually put together that looked a little bit better um, but again it's just playing around and seeing what looks good um, also trying to spread out these items a little bit more throughout the house so enjoy um, and I hope you guys like it For the island centerpiece, um, I typically use these pine cones um, usually for the centerpiece, but this year I wanted to add a little bit more into it. Instead of adding flowers, I really want to give this space some diversity and just try something new. So I put the pine cones in along with these other little cute little feathery items that have some white and gold in it. Still matching and blending my theme together, so I really love that. And these are actually from the Dollar Tree, so the little white stems are from Dollar Tree. 
and the gold ones are as well and I love the way that this came out very simple very easy not too much just simple decor that still added that touch of Christmas but also that elegant look that I really love so um, this is a great way if you're looking for some ways to kind of elevate your um, island space or just different type of styles to put in vases and instead of always putting flowers you can definitely find some things at um, the Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby and of course Michaels um, but definitely look around and just you know shop your stores and just get creative with it and that's what I did I typically like to put the stems on the Christmas tree and kind of build it out from there but this year I just went with a different just kind of simple traditional look for the Christmas tree For our dining room table, this section is always kind of like my one table that I never really know what I want to put on it um, because I kind of want a statement piece for this table since it's somewhere that we don't typically sit at all the time when we have Thanksgiving and you know events Christmas holiday parties or birthday parties we use this table but it's not somewhere that we sit often so I was so lucky to find this is our new item so lucky to find this at Burlington Coat Factory for only $24.99 so I snatched it okay like <laughs> I took that thing like so Somebody was after me trying to get the same item it was the last one there but it was perfect for what I really wanted for this space I didn't want to have to put any pieces together I just wanted something to just really complement it and again it really does a good job complementing my style and the blends the tones the brass the silvers the golds definitely what I wanted and especially with that green and pine cones love it so this was really it made me really happy to find this um, you'll also see towards the end I do add candles and the candles that I did add in it is from Michaels they had a pack Pack of four which unfortunately this is actually a five candle and I only had four so just a little bummed on that but I love the way that this setting came out I love the way that it looks it was just a perfect blend and it really met my standards for my decor so really excited moving on to our Christmas tree so this was a really exciting part of the decor is putting together the Christmas tree um, this Christmas tree we purchased from Amazon about a couple years ago and I think it was on Amazon for $200 so it's the flock um, Christmas tree on there um, if I can find it I would definitely try to link it below I don't know if it would be the same price but uh, we got it three years ago and it was only 200 uh, but we love this Christmas tree it has maintained so far the only issue is that my lights at the top are starting to go so now Next year I will definitely put some new lights in um, so yeah I typically like to just kind of start off with just you know looking at my tree looking at the way that I want to style it and just go in with the colors um, I wanted to do this whole Christmas tree silver at first but I realized I didn't have enough silver so I just started mixing and doing the silver and gold and it still came out very beautiful um, we have a bow that I have ad added and that's at the end of the video you'll see that too that bow was handmade um, I just couldn't do the whole filling thing with all the different stems sticking out um, I just wanted something very simple this year so we just went with a traditional silver and gold and white bow uh, but I do love the way that it came out I think it was very simple but yet still makes you know the tree look very elegant and of course sticking with my theme of silver and gold and white Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride In a one-horse open sleigh The Christmas tree is not complete until our little lady comes and helps us. So Leia is helping us with decorating the Christmas tree. She was so excited to do this every year. She does it with me. So this was fun because she wanted to put her ornaments on the way that she wanted. Um, so she gets to help me out with the Christmas tree. And that's something that I love to do. We do it as a family. Um, and, you know, we just, you know, I have the colors. The colors are already out. And she just kind of just helps me. She loves to put it the way that she sees. So this is a great family tradition that we love to do and enjoy it. And I love the bonding time. So great um, way to just spend some time together and bring in the holidays. All the way Bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright 
And to finish off the Christmas tree, I'm just adding in a couple more pieces to the tree. Um, so typically, I usually do the whole front and back of the Christmas tree, but this year I just kind of did the front and just a little bit of the sides. So I really still wanted to get in some of the sides, but I didn't do the full back. Um, I think from if you see it from the view from outside, you can see the lights and that's about it. So I just wanted to focus on adding a few more bulbs into this tree just to kind of give it a little bit more fuller vibe and just kind of fill in the Christmas tree a little bit more. But when you have a flock tree like this, um, it kind of just sets the tone for itself. Um, so you know you can always get very fancy with your decor and add ribbons and bows and so much more detail it all, always makes the tree look so much more beautiful um, but because I just wanted to kind of do a nice little simple look like this I'm just adding in a few more details and then we are finished with the Christmas tree So moving along downstairs in our family room, this is the final area that I'm decorating for this Christmas decor. Um, and I was really excited for this space because this space is always so empty. There's not much that we have going on. We've had so many carpets in this space um, and it had to go because of the dog. So we are carpetless for this decor just because the dog has constantly ruined our carpets downstairs. Um, so we are just going to be decorating this area and in this area I have a lot Lot of like rustic and wooden looks and so I thought this was a perfect place to put it and add it into our decor downstairs and I have my two chairs down here which I think gives it a little bit more fuller um, look to this space and adds a little bit more furniture so it doesn't look so empty so we get to kind of do a little bit more decor so I have some command hooks that I'm going to use to hang up these frames and put on the wall just to give this wall some more decor and just kind of like fill it in a little bit because it is looking very uh, bare and bland and I definitely want to add some more um, you know pictures to it and just give it a nice look and nice touch my goal for this wall is to have some sconces at the top really deck it out a little bit more but we'll see how it goes and I definitely say to everyone please get one of those measuring gauges where you can um, definitely measure your frame to see if it's crooked or not because half of these frames that I put up was crooked um, I was definitely pulling you know one of the wifely things and just putting it up there and just eyeballing it and um, the left side definitely came out so crooked so it was and it sticks so tight to the wall like I couldn't even get it off I couldn't even try to I would have probably peeled off the paint and um, that would have been one for my husband so I just kind of left it up there and just kind of kept going with it but definitely measure to make sure that your um, photos are nice and straight um, so that you don't run into this problem so yeah um, and then I'm just gonna kind of add you know move the cord because the cord was kind of just driving me nuts so I just try to just stick it with one of the command hooks 
and then I'm gonna go in and start adding in my garlands and I really love this garland and I'm glad that it fits this look because I just feel like this is a perfect kind of like mantle piece to add that garland and that nice look to it so I think this part really came out really nice it's one of my favorite spots to decorate downstairs just because it's just there's so much that you can do with it So I bought these lanterns from Walmart a couple years ago and I love the way it looks. I just, I love lanterns. It is like my little fetish that I have. Um, I just love the way that they look. I just think it brings so much coziness and warmth to the room. Um, and I love the way it had this wooden look to it. So it definitely fit this area so well. Um, I've always struggled with where to put these and in the last two years I have put them in the basement um, in the family room and I think it just looks really nice here. Um, I'm just gonna kind of move it around you guys just to see how I like it. You'll see at the end that they're actually in a totally different place because I just wanted to kind of put them somewhere else that um they can kind of look really nice um but i'm just moving things around to see how it looks hope you all enjoyed today's decorate with me for this Christmas season and I hope you all enjoyed the way that I mixed things around rearranged things for the holidays I hope it inspired you got you all into some motivation for this holiday season and also inspired you to be able to move some things around in your home um, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed and definitely stay tuned if you are not subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe we have some more videos coming up for this holiday season and I cannot wait to share with you all um, you know and update you and also share some new content so definitely subscribe and I hope to see you all soon and happy holidays jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh what fun it is to ride In a one horse open sleigh Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go.